It's week 81 of Zerd, so we're going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, and give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 81 of Zer. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken uh, giveaway for the month of April 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zer is located at the tower, and he is in the hangar in this area over here. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? You like my new puppy? It's pretty cool, man. I like him. You should pet him. Don't be scared. He ain't gonna bite you. So like always, we're gonna start with the left-hand side. The weapon of the week is the Sunshot, which is an exotic hand cannon. Then we have Full Tracer for the Hunter, Sun Bracers for the Warlock, as well as Helm of Saint 14 for the Titan. First off, let's go ahead and go with Sunshot. I'm trying to perk on this is sunburn which explosive rounds highlights targets then we have chamber compensator accurized rounds sunblast which targets killed with sunshot explode in solar energy and then we have textured grip now this is an okay exotic it's better probably better in pve than it is pvp so i'm going to go ahead and give this a probably a tier 2 to 2.5 in pve but probably a 3 to 3.5 in PvP. I mean, Luna's Howl, Trust, and weapons of the same uh, RPM definitely are taking over this game, like, tremendously. Next, we have the Full Tracer. In terms of perk on this, it's Relentless Tracker, which marks targets, buffs damage to low health marks. Then we have uh, Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, Sniper Rifle Reserves, as well as Machine Gun Reserves. And this does have an ornament, and it's called War Painted. And that's what it looks like. It actually looks pretty cool. Now, this is a decent exotic. Uh, it's okay in PvE, but I probably would use it a lot more in PvP. So just for that, it gets a 2.5 in PvP, and probably a tier 3, to even probably a tier 3.5 or 4 in PvE. Uh, real quick, if you guys do not know the tier scale, it will be down in the description box below. I apologize for not saying that ahead of time. Next, we have the Sun Bracers, which in terms of perk on this is Helium Spirals, which solar grenades burn longer. Melee kills restore them. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. And it does have an ornament, I just don't have it, unfortunately. But if you are a Warlock, this is definitely one of the good Warlocks for your Solar subclass. So definitely go ahead and grab it. It's definitely a tier 2 in PvP and PvE, actually. Um, so definitely go ahead and grab this if you do not have them. Next exotic is the Helmet Saint 14 for those Titans. And trying to perk on this is Starless Knight, which Word of Dawn blinds enemies and grants overshield guarding blinds. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting. Hand cannon targeting, hands on, sniper rifle reserves, as well as machine gun reserves. I'm surprised they still haven't had an ornament for this yet, because it's been out for a very long time. But if you are one of those people who love using your bubble when you are a sentinel, then go ahead and grab this. Did I said that correct? I hope I said that correct. <laughs> go ahead and grab this because. Um, when you're paying game modes um, like Control, it definitely helps out a lot. Um, Iron Banner it helps out tremendously because as soon as they go into it, it blinds them. And that blind is what really matters when it comes to holding those spots. So definitely go ahead and grab this if you do not have it already. Next, we have your Five of Swords, which is your Nightfall scorecard. And then we have your Invitations. And you can only get these once a week. Well, not once a week, but once altogether. Uh, but if you don't have it, go ahead and grab it. It is only nine legendary shards. And then last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which still does not give us Forsaken Exotics. Zerd does sell Forsaken Exotics, but the Faded Engram does not give us Forsaken Exotics. Unfortunately, he's not selling Forsaken Exotics this week. 
Hey that my friends brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.